standard headlight removal and refitting on a Skoda Fabia Mark 1, 99 to 2007. Changing out the headlight unit is quite common on these. The polycarbonate used in the headlights can discolour, scratch and become foggy over time and may need replacing. The mechanisms can also fail, making the adjustment impossible. There are a number of screws and bolts holding them in place. There's two T25 screws on the top and a T30 screw at the bottom on the inside and the 10mm adjuster fixing bolt here at the front. It's very close and just underneath the bumper. Annoyingly, to remove this bolt to get the unit out, you need to move or take the bumper off. One thing to note is this is a right hand drive vehicle and I'm taking the right hand driver's side headlight unit out and importantly my front adjuster nut seats flush up against the front of the car body just here. My left hand headlight on the passenger side protrudes slightly and if I was taking this one out I would, I would measure the distance between the body and the adjuster so I can refit a new unit in the same place. First thing you want to do is turn the wheel to the inside depending on which side you're taking off. Here's four T25 screws that we need to take out that hold the bumper on. Clean out the head of the screws so you've got good purchase on them. They are a little bit shallow these and can easily get rounded off. Take all the screws out. Then take out the two front T30 bolts. Then if you pull the top edge of the bumper out and then forward you can release it from the clip that's attached to the wing. And now you can just pull the bumper back at the top just enough to get this bolt out which is all you need to get the headlight out. If you're still struggling you can take the bumper completely off if you prefer. And I've done a video on this and I'll leave it in the description and at the end of the video if you need help with that. And I found I could actually hold the plastic bumper on the metal bumper underneath by pulling it down a bit. When you get to this stage, it doesn't matter which order you take the bolts out. I'm going to do the adjuster nut one first. Which is 10mm hex. Just need a little ring spanner for that. Now the top two T25 screws. And finally the last T30 screw at the bottom inside the engine bay, which is quite a tight fit. I found I could uh, get at it with a quarter inch bit socket and, and long extension bar and then fairly easily reach down and retrieve the screw. Here's a better view with a few parts removed. If you're struggling to get your bit socket onto the screw, then you can just release the back access cover slightly or remove it to give you a little bit more space if you feel you need to do. With the bolts out, you can slide the unit out slightly and more easily detach your electrical connector.
Use your finger or a screwdriver to lift up the tag and slide off the connector. Once detached, the unit will simply lift out. Here's the standard headlight unit with the 6mm Allen key adjustment wheels on the top. The innermost wheel adjusts the height and the outer wheel adjusts the horizontal alignment. There is of course further horizontal adjustment with the large plastic screw adjuster at the front. The headlights are your sealed units but will detach if you take the clips off and melt the glue which is what people do when they fit LED daytime running lights. The indicator is housed in a separate holder. And you can gain access to the main lights behind the panel fitted onto the back of the unit that attaches with two hooks at the bottom and two clips at the top. If you're buying a new unit, they often don't come with the electrical adjustment motor, which you have to take out of your original one and fit it back in. And there's a rubber seal around the perimeter at the top and the side. Held on by these little plastic raised pieces. And some little side clips. It's not glued on, it just fits loosely over these little nodules. Refit the unit, connecting the electrical connector. Push it on firmly until you hear a click because these have a tendency to come off so you need to hear it click into place. Refit the adjuster nut and 10mm bolt and washer. This takes a bit of fiddling about with, but you can eventually get it seated down to the body and nice and tight on the bolt. While you're doing this, check that the bumper aligns correctly in the right place next to the headlight unit. Adjust if necessary until you're happy with it, then refit the top 225 screws. And finally the T30 bolt at the bottom of the unit on the inside of the engine bay. Refit the bumper, 
by aligning and hooking over the front edge of the wing clip. Pulling it backwards and over the clip under the wheel arch. Align and fit the T30 screw bolts at the front. And finally, replace the four T25 screws under the wheel arch. Jobs are good. Un. Once it's back and the adjusters are in the same place, it should be fine. But a new one will, of course, need its beam adjustment setting. And it's best to have this done at the local garage, rather than attempt it yourself with a bit of chalk on a blank wall at 5 metres. I find that if you change out the headlights just before your annual MOT test, then they'll probably do that at the same time, for little cost or nothing. So I'd always recommend getting this done correctly, as there's nothing more annoying than other motorists' headlights blinding you on the road, and could even be fatal, so you don't want that on your conscience. Anyway, that's all from me for now. Job done, all sorted. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.